Hello everyone, my name is Varixis, and I'm giving myself a wee bit of a challenge. I have tried to record this video about seven or eight different times now, and it keeps rambling on for too damn long. So, here's my challenge to myself. I am going to tell you the top five things I hate about depth in six minutes or less. Ready? Reason number five that I hate about depth is mine spam. Why? It is an ineffective way of killing sharks because speed sharks just blow right through mines and tank sharks can just eat a mine and still live. Uh, it is a terribly inefficient way to spend gold because it's 200 gold a pop times three. That's 600 gold every time you die and you just sprint it around the room where you end up hurting your teammates and Steve more than you actually get kills. Up until a certain point, usually around level 50 or 60, these mine spammers will be absolute cancer to deal with, both as divers and as sharks. If you are one of these people, I highly suggest you learn how to shoot and less reliance on explosives. Number four, the Volley Jet Toxic combo. Now separately these are fine, the Volley Jet has its own downsides and so does Toxic. They can both be countered by shark play. However, together in a good number of maps, and because of the raw damage and the fire rate that Volley Jet puts out, plus the bleeding effects of the bleeding, because of the actual effects of Toxic, getting hit with two Volley Jets, no matter what kind of shark you are, and then dealing with Toxic on maps like Devil's Head, Stash, Station, or Breach is a death sentence because of the way the seals are and because of the way the map is laid out. I honestly believe this is probably one of the few things that can be fixed by a balance wave, although I'm not particularly sure how to deal with it on the top of my head. Now, we're getting close here, so we're moving on. Number three thing I hate about depth is rage quitting. You guys know how I feel about rage quitting, so this one's going to be fairly short, but any veteran can tell you. When they hop into a game, someone checks the levels, sees a level 100, hasn't even started the match yet, and they will leave. And when the first person leaves, it's another 50% chance that someone else will leave. It is extremely frustrating for people who want to play the game. It is extremely frustrating because you haven't even given anybody a shot yet. You don't know if we're going to go hamburgers. You don't know if we're going to do something stupid like play double sensors for the first two freaking saints. Alright? Give it a shot. Play the game, it will be okay. Number two, the tryhard mentality. Now, this can go both ways, actually. I'm going to talk about the higher level players first because it's almost always two duo Q sharks who are just going hamburgers on a team of new players. And that's. I can kind of understand it because you might get into a game, realize you're not going to get any real challenge, and you want to end it as soon as possible. That's one thing. However, when you have loaded into a game and you can see that everyone on the other team is below level 20, I want you guys to pause and think, how can I help these people become better challenges in the future, rather than these guys are going to be fish chum. On the other hand, lower level players will often see pro players and do something which seems very, very strange, like sitting in the middle of the open ocean surrounded by sensor buoys and managing to just get a bajillion kills. In their next game, they might try it and get slaughtered. And all they're doing is wasting tickets, wasting gold, and probably going to cause a loss for their game. So, if you're not understanding why something works, I expect you guys to ask, go to the forums, go to my channel, I will explain how it works, and you can practice it in a safe way. But don't just go mimicking something, even if you don't understand it. And the number one thing that I currently hate about depth right now is matchmaking. Now I know that matchmaking in and of itself is a very tangled beast to deal with. And devs, as I know you're watching, I'm not saying that this is a failure on your part. I am, however, saying that the matchmaking system is extremely frustrating to use if you're not in a party. And I'll tell you why. I'm going to put some screenshots up on the screen here. The average diver game, for me, is going against sharks less than level 50 and other divers less than level 30. That is every one of my diver matches. It is extremely one-sided. And no matter what I kind of stupid crap I pull, we usually win the game. When I play a shark, suddenly I can find all of the fucking high-level divers, and I am paired with 
a brand new player, like single digit levels and one or two games are shot. That's not fun for me because I wanted to play a game where I'm not going to just get waffle stomped by a team of four divers. And I can I know I can't depend on my teammate. And I can't get mad at him because he's new. It's extremely frustrating to deal with, and it's probably the number one thing I hate about Death Radio. Again, not a rag on the developers, not a rag on the game. It's just frustrating to deal with. And that was my list, and it looked like we actually had about uh, 12 seconds left before we hit six minutes. All right. Let me know what you guys think uh, about this list. Uh, do you agree with it? Do you disagree with it? Do you have a different top five? Let me know in those comments below because as you guys know, I do read them. I do respond whenever I can and I will be watching. Until next time, guys, my name is Varixis, and I will see you in the water.